Okay, so more about my walk with the Lord. Um, it's not just my walk with the Lord that is um, that this involves. Actually, Lucille Street, which is my children's father's grandmother, their great grandmother, um, Granny Street, walked with the Lord when she was younger, and the Lord told her that she. Um, that her daughter would do something really awful to hurt a lot of people in this world. The Lord said, but do not worry, you know, do not fret, it's going to be okay. He said, because my children love me, you know, my children love you because they love me. And they'll love your, they love your daughter, they'll be forgiven of her. They'll love you, you know, and they love you. They'll be forgiven of your daughter as they love you, as you love me, the Lord, as my children love me, the Lord. And, um, so... <laughs> it goes into a whole nother story, okay? But Granny Street's walk um, is because my ex mother in law, her daughter, Alicia Dolores Farmer, did actually was using her inner voice for a long time on me, my children, even our own children, and thinking that her thoughts, her ideas, or, or what she thought had happened in her lifetime, and her way of asking you wasn't asking you while you're asleep but was actually telling you and her picturing it in her mind um, that these these events happened in her life and no they didn't you know and she wasn't correct uh, you know what I mean and um, as God only knows everything and she just asked us we would have told her which we really did but you know she assumed the worst I guess <laughs> or um, some things though I can't even laugh about because even the Lord said that she um, she actually put, used witchery and placed her own sins into my mind. And the Lord cried and said, "My child Tanya Marie Hampton has been tortured to no winds of the earth." Um, what he meant by that is, after several years of her just using her inner voice and talking to you while you were sleeping, you know, and um, put her thoughts, her ideas, or even her own sins in your mind. And her own sinful thoughts is what the Lord said. Um, she actually um, obtained a psychology book, and this particular book taught hypnotism, as crazy as that sounds. But basically, it was the same thing. She was just using, after all them years, and then she turned around and used a book on us that taught hypnotism. That This was a professor's edition for a professor to teach his college students psychology. And, and in this particular book, it taught hypnotism. So then she used these different forms of hypnotism on me, along with Rebecca and Santa Chavez. And they did it for 66 consecutive nights in a row, which has been verified by the authorities as well. I know that sounds a little crazy, but it's the truth, and others verified it also. Um, um, anyways, it's going to be okay, though. You know, we just need to get her mind healthy and... Thank God, I'm, you know, I'm, we're lucky, we're blessed that we know what happened. And um, the truth was always there. It's just, um, it only takes one thing to be placed in someone's mind that wasn't in their lifetime and for it to be mind-blowing and um, to literally just blow their mind where I had to learn how to read, write, add, subtract, multiply, divide, everything all over again. Not once, but twice. Actually, a third time it started. <laughs> But um, they caught it, and we worked through that, and thank God. Um, anyways, it's going to be okay. Okay, so moving right along, I'm going to come back and share some more about others' walks with the Lord and how it, all of our walks go together. God bless.